like the year that Static X broke and they did our Christmas show and I was like, holy cow. You going to take your boyfriend to the Rob Zombie Mudvayne show? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, Wayne Static's been dead almost 10 years now, but so it's not him, but it's not hard to sound like, <laughs> sound like that, you know? Oh, boy. Hey, another uh, $1,000 for about seven minutes from now, 430 is going to be the next chance for you to go fund yourself. So listen closely. Uh, game two of the Guardians uh, double header will be right here on WMMS. They're in the bottom of the ninth. They're losing by one run. Uh, first and two against the Padres, 5 4 San Diego right now. So um, when that second one gets going, we will kick you over to that. But uh, another grand here in a few minutes. Hey, Dick, are you going to go to that Rob Zombie show? No. No, that best show I'm going to is May 20th or May 21st down at Wiley. Yeah. You know, we were talking about this. We were talking about just uh, that thing yesterday. Um, I asked Mary if she was getting increasingly excited as the date got closer to, to meeting you. And I have to be yeah. candid with you, Dick. I told Mary, I said, there's probably a 50-50 chance that Dick will show up. I'll be there. You're going to be there. He said it. I have you oh, on yeah. record. I have you on record as saying you oh, will be record, there. Buddy. What's that? Oh, yeah. So come hell or high water. Hell or high water, buddy. Wow. Will you bring your banjo? If she wants me to, I will. <laughs> sure. There's the $64,000 question. If you want I don't care. Okay. You can bring it, yeah. Okay. Are you going to bring the whole Kettering hey. Banjo Society with you? No, no, no. Oh, come on. Hey, Mary, it, it can't be that anymore. There's too many groups. It's, the, it's called the Dolsmer. It's called the String Benders. The Kettering Banjo. What time oh. is your show? Uh, I think it's at 8. Hey, the Kettering Banjo Society's already tucked in. They, they got dinner their, at 3. They did, boy. They got their <laughs> little wee willy winky caps on by 8 o'clock. It's going to be a late night for Dick. Yeah, that's all right. I'm not working. I could stay out. Late. Right? Good for yeah, you. Party dick. Stay out till 930. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I wanted to tell you something that I don't know. I'll tell Pound K. I went to the polls yesterday, and somebody talked to me and said, uh, Hi, sir, how are you? She said, You want to make some extra money? What's your name? And I said, Well, I'm going known as Dick from Ohio. And she says, Well, let me put you down. So I'm going to be. At the polls next uh, November, I'll probably be, uh, you know, helping out a little bit. I, I've never done something like that. I thought it was an honor, you know. Oh, you're going to be a poll worker. Yeah, a poll worker. Yeah, and yeah. You know I had a girlfriend they, that used to do start, that. You know what? They say they start pretty good money. I don't know anything about it, but I think it would be, I think you're right. I think it would be an honor, right? Oh, cash, usually. Taking, <laughs> taking part in the um, the democratic process. While we still have it. Very exciting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, one thing here, we're all down in the dumps. You, you can't get on any Cleveland. I, I mean, Cleveland. Since today, I heard the Reds, I think, are going down the higher river. Nobody wants to see them win. I could care less, you know, and I'm, I'm still going to follow the Guardians and the, and the Browns and the Cavaliers. But it's ridiculous down here, guys. They could lose 160 games this year, you know? The Reds are, pro they might be the worst team in the league right now. Yeah. They're worse than the Pirates. And oh. that's saying something, yeah. But we don't we don't really yeah. care about the uh, the Reds. I don't either. Yeah. I don't either. But like I said, this is probably, I've, uh, I went down today, a music store, and a guy was telling me in a couple weeks, Dick, after where you go to your friend, he wants me to come help him uh, do the, uh, it's a bluegrass thing, and you said you couldn't be master of ceremonies if you play three tunes, so life is good for me, guys. Uh, I'm glad like to it. hear it. I'm glad to hear that you're going to be uh, uh, master of ceremonies, Dick. That's uh, yeah. it's very exciting. Mary, I can't wait, you know? <laughs> me either, Dick. It's going to be a fun night. Yeah. Right. Okay, thank yeah, you, is. Dick. It is. You're welcome. Ah, there it is. Everybody have Dick tonight. Well, he's on record, kid. He, he said, says he's going to be high there. Water. Hell or high water. Bring in the banjo. Yep. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, those Cincinnati Reds, boy, I don't know what they're doing.
That Ken Griffey Jr. better get on the stick. <laughs> he, Jed Johnny Bench, he better get going. Unban Pete Rose. Let him play. <laughs> they need the help. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sliding headfirst into the Ohio River. There's your. There you go. That's right. Unban Pete Rose. I mean, what did he do that was so bad? He bet on the Reds to win. He can't he's, he's bet on them to win, though. I mean, yeah. not really, probably. Did he bet on them to win? That's what he said. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. I thought he was bet on them to lose. Oh, he was trying to uh, he was trying to soften the blow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Guardians game is over. They lost 5-4. to four. Oh, 5 to 4. Okay. But don't worry. There's another one today. Another so one. Get it back. Yay. Yeah. In mere minutes. Can um, they just, what, they go in the locker room, just dry off a bit, shower, and then they... Probably have a little We're meeting and they probably don't. Out. They probably don't even do that. I don't think. Yeah, actually, I don't think they do. I think Why they get just clean? Start just, over. Yeah, just stay dirty and get mm-hmm. out there and play. And that's what she said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you want to just represent yourself well. Maybe put on uh, your brighter uniform. They probably got more than one. Yeah, but you're saying that they want to get in there and take a quick shower. I think you might. But then you're wet, and then you feel weird when you. I mean, it's probably damp outside. Mm-hmm. The humidity, fifty six degrees. Who wants that? You get a quick poop or something. Like, how long is this little intermission? Before a the quick game, poop. Mm. Before the next game starts. I mean, they'll just put somebody else in rotation if you got to take a quick poop. Mm. And if you've been standing out there a long time, it's not going to be a quick poop. I need a quick poop right now. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, good to know. I'll take one. Anywho. I will. Just a quick one. So I wait. I'm a waiter. You wait until I wait you, until it's ready to come out, and then I'm in and out of that. You bathroom. wait until you can't wait anymore. Not until I can't wait anymore, but I will push it, and then I I am in and out of the bathroom in a couple minutes. I don't do that. Cody sitting on the toilet for an hour and a half. Can you guys just me. stop coming for me? Like, can I just enjoy my <laughs> the simple joys that I have? I don't require much. As much as you guys want to say, like I'm a attention seeking whore or something like that. All his I, words, not ours. I don't think we've ever called him an attention seeking whore. I'm a gold digger. We've alluded to it, but you sit on the toilet and I just it's just my it's phone. just bad time management. That's all. It's a waste of time. If you are in there so long that your legs are numb, you got pins and needles when you stand up. That's no good. You mean you don't get up with a circular butt? <laughs> Do you wear compression socks when you go to the bathroom? Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> no, but I probably should. Got the beatus. I fall forward and hit the to- uh, hit the bathtub because I've been in there for so long. Alan, there was that old recording of Dick saying, that's my pole. Now it's P-O-L-L. You know, as he was telling that story, I, that didn't go where I thought it was going to go. I thought he was going to say somebody was offering money for votes or something. Oh, right. no, I thought he was exactly going there. Oh, He's was the he right a poll age. worker? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're looking for retired people okay. with nothing to do. Yeah. How much does that pay? He said he pretty said good. He said pretty good, but... I, I don't know like what that to, means. He's retired. Yeah. I mean, it's all gravy. But hell, now, I don't, I'm afraid to do it because the people would think, oh, pound cake... Liberal pound cake or Republican you for, you were a Trump guy. Well, what, what are you worried about? I'm, I don't want people to think that I'm skewing something. So I just I'm gonna sit this one out. Hmm. I don't need those problems. Yeah, but you know the good part of that is with the uh, poll workers in most of these places, you're gonna be a ghost. They're not even gonna know who you are. It's uh, according to what I just looked up. You, you can make around a hundred dollars to one hundred and fifty a day, including paid training. You could also earn up to two hundred dollars, depending on the county and position. Hmm. I made that today in feed picks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll give you a thousand dollars right now, and you don't have to sit there counting ballots. How about that? Chance to go fund yourself. One thousand bucks right here. Good luck. The buzzard wants you to go fund yourself and score one thousand dollars. Enter the nationwide keyword bank at WMMS.com. That's bank. Enter it now at WMMS.com. And good luck from Buzzard Radio. Did you sell more foot picks? Yeah. Really? It's a pretty regular thing. It's, I mean, like one once a week, I'll be able to sell one or I'll have somebody new interested. I, I mean, it's not like it's, I'm not making millions over but here. But you're banking money. I am making, yeah. It's pretty cool. Getting a pedicure on Friday. I just ordered some toe rings. Can you write it off as a business expense? No, because then I have to claim the money I'm making. Oh. Mm. But yeah, I'm, I, I ordered toe rings. I ordered some nylons. Your girl is investing. Is this at <laughs> uh, viewer's request? What do you mean? 
Are they saying, hey, yes. I like toe rings? I, I've had several guys ask, why, where are the toe rings? So you'll do anything as long as the face isn't in it? Or if it's not a... And no bush? N- no, no. Oh. I mean, not my face and as long as it's not... Um, I don't know how to say that. Say it without... As long as it's not sexual in nature? Sexual in nature, Nudity. sure. Okay. But yeah, fully customizable. One guy asked for cottage cheese oh. on my toes. <laughs> fully customizable. <laughs> Santora toes at gmail.com. And so does he does he want you to step in the cottage cheese? Does he want it on top of your foot? I put it on my feet. Like on your on feet. On my toes dripping down but onto then, the top of my feet. Now, how do you shoot that? Uh, carefully. Or is it video? Is this all still shots? Just pictures, or yeah. Pictures. Mm-hmm. So you take a picture of your foot, mm-hmm. or is it both feet? D- both feet. Both feet. Uh-huh. And then you pour co- small or large curd? Uh, I don't know. Whatever was that trying to go? <laughs> I don't know how specific these guys I get. Even, I, mean, I asked for large curd! <laughs> yeah. And then just kind of, that one, I just kind of put my feet up and then let it drip down and then took a picture of it. Do you have like a shooting area? Like in your kitchen, do you have like a light box? Or no, do you have, I, have okay. a, I have a ring light I haven't set up yet. Mm-hmm. I haven't used a ring light for any of the pictures A toe yet, ring light? A toe mm-hmm. ring light. There you go. And so this guy goes, hey, I'd like you to put cottage cheese on your feet. He said, it, he, the email started with... Is this subliminal because he knows you're lactose intolerant and he's trying to stick lactose it to you. Lactose intolerant. Lactose. <laughs> no, he said at the first line of the email was, this is not a joke. <laughs> I was right. Like, okay. He said, I, what would it be? What's, what's your price for some cottage cheese on your feet? Now, do you just, and you don't have to say how much, but do you just factor in the price of the cottage cheese or do you kind of wholesale bump it up a little bit. Wholesale bump for customization. There's for a, customization. There is, a, there is a base price if you just want a picture of the feet or toes or soles. And then an extra tier for customization. For customization. An extra tier after that if it's something real weird or gross. And that's up to your discretion. And this is my discretion. So how weird uh, or gross but not sexual in nature? That's what I mean. What's the demarcation? <laughs> well, like the cottage cheese thing's pretty weird, Right. I don't know. I mean, when I think... Okay, maybe not weird, but specific. That was like the guy who wanted to put pie on me. Yeah, it's a very specific request. Well, sure, but you want specificity. I mean, if people are going to go, hey, I want the photos, you go, you know what? Dealer's choice. Whatever You want to put sour cream? And some guys are like that. They're like, I just like painted toenails, so shoot shoot me a picture of your toenails. The cottage cheese is the strangest request you've gotten so far. Correct. What is the most recent request you've refused? Um, The business suit one, right? No, a guy wanted me to use a sex toy and mimic a um foot job foot job yes i was and you sure. wouldn't do that no your face I'm isn't not comfortable in it. with that but it's a it's a just a plastic it's implement a yeah act. but i don't like yeah it's like it's sexual in nature i took that i've been extremely clear Again, that this is I know, pictures I'm just, of my feet i'm just saying these are all sexual in nature but they're not for me putting a vibrator in there doesn't make it any more or less sexual yes it does it a does still, not a it's a sex picture toy. of my foot up on my couch you're saying is the exact same amount of sexual as me having a vibrator going between my feet i'm saying the level of sexuality is based on who's what the person wants okay but this guy's wanking the no, cottage cheese doesn't. you know that it's fine but that's the level of sexuality is different to me there is no sexuality in a picture of my toes on my couch. There is sexuality in me acting like I'm giving an FJ to a vibrator. I didn't know and you that were, I am uh, not comfortable with. I didn't with. know you were such a prude. Well, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> it took me three years to even come around to this idea. So don't even. <laughs> Actually, it took me two years and a global pandemic. <laughs> Literally baby steps. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. Uh, first pitch at 510, by the way, for your uh, second of two Guardians Padres. So... What does that mean? We got a little bit. We'll come back back after our break, and we'll probably go to around five. Okay. And then five ten is going to be that uh, start for the second game. So now I am curious if anybody goes back and takes a shower. Oh, they do have. So he Quick said. Boot. So he said, "Hey, uh, now let me ask you this. Ready? Would you have had to purchase the implement, or did you already own the implement? I own an implement. <laughs> come on." <laughs> Sir, I'm not taking my own personal item and rubbing my other personal items on it. Yeah. I'm not taking my feet and putting it on my vibrator. Right. That's gross. I might as well take my foot up there and, you know, <laughs> not that they aren't clean, but. So what are the toe rings going to do? This is supposed to turn these dudes on I think a little it's bit just more? to make them look a little prettier. Prettier. But that is a very common request is where are the toe rings? And I said, well, I'm getting them. They're coming tomorrow. 
And I'm getting a pedicure Friday, so if you're into toe rings, I can help you out Friday. What do you put them on? The the, the middle toe and the pinky? or how Honestly, do you... I'm so new to this. I've been doing a lot of research. <laughs> <laughs> research? <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm on more... Toe pick chat rooms? Well, I'm on more porn sites, but not even for, like, porn just pleasure. Yes, just to, just to kind of see what other people are doing with foot stuff. Like, to see pictures and stuff like that. Are there um, people putting pictures of foot mm-hmm. stuff on porn sites? Yeah. Well, oh, it's really? Like FootFetish.com. Or I'm, that's, oh, I don't know I if see. that's actually a site, but there's, like, sure whole is. sites dedicated to foot fetishes. So it's oh, just... Not like Pornhub or something. I thought no. you meant I see. Well, I mean, all kind. If, if you wanted, it's out there. But there's some that are just pictures. So I look at those to get like pose ideas and and girls you know. giving tips. Girl, no, not girls giving tips. Just like I literally am just looking at the pictures, seeing oh, how I they see. do it and mimicking it. Huh. It's pretty exciting. It is. And I'm I'm an entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. <laughs> An entrepreneur. Her entrepreneurial skills are being... Before you know it, you're going to have a Marriott Ballroom B rented out, and you're going to have uh, people sitting there. You're going to be giving a little TED Talk. Doing a little toe, toe Talk. Yeah, oh. do it. No, not shows. <laughs> no, you're like, going to be telling them how to... sexual nature. What are my legs just out of a curtain? No, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> like a puppet show. Yeah. No, you're going to be like Tom Cruise in Magnolia, but sure. for uh, telling people how to get toe picks. Yeah. Yep. People ask me, like, how did you get Tame started? Tame the foot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I do feel bad because everyone, like, I have girls hit me up on Instagram, like, how'd you get started with this? Or my friends, my sisters. I don't want to sell foot pics. I was like, I, I will Be tell famous. you. I said 100% because I'm on the radio. This didn't come out of anything else other than this show. Well, they might have to work a little harder to get the word out there, but anybody can do it. Right. If they're willing to purchase cottage cheese, mm-hmm. yeah, put her on. Totally. But, but, but your sister would do the business. Suit I was going to say, yeah. your sisters see what they lack in public um, access, mm-hmm. right? Public persona, they can make up for and doing freaky stuff. See, then you they can, can. You can give referrals then. Yeah, say, I was hey, say, show her a business suit. Mm-hmm. I actually should, probably. This is your chance to be the Kim Kardashian of your family. You girls <laughs> should just all sit together <laughs> and have your bare feet next to each other and do you understand how that would set people off you're like oh my gosh i got mary and And her her sister's sister's feet next to each other my older sister has some of the prettiest feet that i i have ever seen and i have a i get get a lot of compliments from guys like i would say a good majority of the guys who i send pictures to will message like email me back and be like wow your feet are beautiful um so i don't know what else is out there but uh my older sister has gorgeous feet and she's one of the people who hit me up was like yo how do i do this i was like I guess I can recommend you yeah, to no, my, you, to my take a clients? A question yeah. mark. Like, <laughs> it's all part they, of being a sex worker. There you go. <laughs> they want the girlfriend experience with them toes. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna be a porn star so as I can screw the ladies. Snort cocaine all day and ride around in my Mercedes. Lesbians and get those and women in their 80s. I am gonna do them all because I am not afraid. Porn star living, oh, I can see it now. Caviar and fine cigars, on these I make my vow I will be the biggest porn star the world has ever seen Just me and a woman and a monkey and a midget having sex up on the screen I'm getting on the train tonight to find my fortune and fame It's only a matter of time till everyone will know my name I've gotta practice up, gonna work on my aim So if anyone wants to help me out, I'd be more than game Porn star living sounds to me like bliss Raging syphilis, cause I will be the biggest porn star the world has ever seen. Just me and a woman and a monkey and a midget having sex up on the screen. Just me and a woman and a monkey and a midget having sex up on the screen.